we're going to take a look at the TDR Tech Sports Car Wireless Mouse. It's available on Amazon from a couple vendors. It's 2.4 gigahertz, 16 channels. It has automatic frequency jumping. And the specs state only Windows 8 through Windows 7. It doesn't state only. It just doesn't mention Windows 10. But there's no technical reason that I can think of that it won't be plug and play on Windows 10. To put the batteries in it, you slide the hood backwards. Now very, very important, here's our dongle that goes in your USB drive. If you ever move or take your mouse somewhere or move your computer, store it back in the trunk first because a lot of these mouses will get discarded just because it gets lost. The transceiver will be lost. So you put the batteries in, of course following the indicator for the positives and the negatives and slide it back on. I'm going to plug the transceiver into my USB port. Goes in right there. And you heard it be acknowledged by the OS. I'm going to turn the mouse on by sliding this tiny slider to the left. I tried to put a little marker mark there, but it didn't show very well because it's black. And you see it's already being detected. I don't know if you can see the mouse moving on my screen. It's actually very sensitive. Normally I have to bump up the pointer speed quite a bit, but this is pretty good. So I'm going to open Chrome at the bottom. And it seems great. Let's try to right click on something. And there's my options for right clicking. So this is Windows 10. I believe it's just a home edition. I'm not sure about that, but it was plug and play, worked great right out of the gate, right off the starting line. Now the mouse will power off after a certain amount of inactivity and you wake it up by clicking or rolling the scroll wheel on the hood. So very, very cute. Much cuter than a standard cheapy mouse you get with your computer system. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you.